Welcome to Sip No Tech. I'm Alex. How you doing? It's no big secret on this channel that Lita and I are big fans of Chromebooks. On top of using Macs and Windows, we also use Chromebooks and we both have one that we use on the daily. Uh, I came from the Chromebook Pixel, which was a really high-end premium Chromebook experience. I love that device, but I thought it was time to upgrade, so I did upgrade to this thing here. This is the HP Chromebook 13 G1. So this is HP's top of the line Chromebook, the most premium one that they're selling at the moment. And uh, so this is my successor to my Chromebook Pixel. And I'm really excited to talk about this today. Let's check it out. This is my full review of the HP Chromebook 13 G1. This Chromebook gained a reputation due to its simplistic design and build quality. No, this does not flip or convert, nor does it have a touchscreen. But what it does provide you with is a Chrome OS experience in a shell that can often be mistaken for a Windows laptop. In a sea of cheap plastic builds, this is a welcome middle ground for those looking for a nicely built Chromebook. The internals on the 13G1 also match the high standards set by the external quality. Under the hood, we start with the Intel Pentium 4405Y processor with 4GB of RAM. This, of course, could be upgraded further up the Core M line, which offers Chrome OS a strong companion. A laptop has many keys to providing a good user flow. The keyboard on the 13G1 is solid with decent travel and spacing. There isn't much to dislike here, especially with the inclusion of backlighting, which is a rarity in Chromebooks. The trackpad, however, is a different story for me. Being spoiled by larger, more responsive trackpads on the Pixel and MacBooks, the 13G ones feel a bit archaic. It took me a while to get adapted to the physical left and right clicking as an alternative to touch tapping. To many though, this will still be a pleasant experience. Bang & Olsen supply the audio department here, and while the speaker roll doesn't particularly sound too great, it gets decently loud and clear. Should've been better though. What you are buying this Chromebook for is the magnificent display. At 13.3 inches with a beyond Quad HD resolution IPS screen, this is probably as good as you can get for Chromebooks besides the Pixel 2. Viewing angles are good and colors and sharpness of the images are top notch here. Without a doubt, this is the best aspect of this laptop. Combine that with a Core M family processor and a 13G1 is more than capable of handling all the tasks you need done on Chrome OS. Multiple tabs can be toggled between on the fly, and performance just seems to flow along well. One feature I absolutely love about Chrome OS, and it's not just about the HP Chromebook, it's, but it's throughout the Chromebook lineup. It's the fact that Chrome OS boots up so quickly or wakes up from sleep so easily. Just check this out, guys. Instead of going home, booting up your Mac or your uh, Windows PC, and taking maybe like 30 seconds to boot up, look at that, it's all, it's all set up, it's all good to go. I can, uh, I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi right away. Boom, simple as that. That's what Chrome OS is all about, and I absolutely adore Chrome OS for that reason. And it's because it's such a simple OS, there's not much it needs to do to boot up and to wake up from sleep. But I am very happy with that, and that's why I buy Chromebooks, and this is another continued experience there. But of course, it isn't all sunshine and gravy. I found that the hinge is pretty stiff. You can't open this with one hand, and the 13G1 is very back heavy due to the ports being allocated to the rear sides. Battery life is average at best, but that to me, coming from a first gen Pixel, is a good thing. I get about six to seven hours on a charge here, which is a welcome increase to the four hours I was getting on the Pixel. If you're coming from something else though, you may be disappointed. And of course, future-proofing this with two USB-C ports was a great move by HP, as well as keeping one USB 3.1 port for the past. And finally, the day I was about to release this video, we received the Play Store on Developer Channel, so we added some footage here. Android apps seem to run pretty well so far. The lack of a touchscreen hinders this aspect slightly, but nonetheless, from what I've played with so far, it seems very promising. There you have it. That's my review of the HP Chromebook G1. I do think this is, right now, the most premium Chromebook you can get on the market. The Pixel 2 is no longer being sold by Google, and through third-party retailers, it's still pretty pricey, and it's also kind of getting difficult to buy. So I do think this is a logical successor to the Chromebook Pixel line. 
Of course, Google can always make a new one. Uh, hopefully they do. But right now, I do think this is the best Chromebook on the market you can get in terms of performance and the build quality. It's a good package together. Uh, but those are my thoughts on the Chromebook. HP Chromebook 13 G1. Long name, long name. It's a long tag. You should cut it down next generation. But I do think it's a great device. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And also, here's my question to you guys for this video. What Chromebook do you guys currently use? What Chromebook do you guys currently use? Let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys next video.